Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson about the probability of independent events. So for the first page, you're gonna take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try a problem on your own. At the end, you can see how you did. All right, so what exactly is an independent event? Well, think of the term independent, right? Uh, my guess is you probably want independence from your parents, or say uh, the 4th of July is Independence Day. So what does that mean in terms of probability? Well, an independent event, uh, th they're not affected by previous events. So let's write that down. So an independent event is not affected by a previous event. All right, so an independent event is not affected by a previous event. So let me give you an example. So here we have a, a coin, right? And we have a, a number cube. So the, the, the coin could land on heads or tails and then the number cube could land on one through six, right? So but here's the thing. The result of the, the, the heads and tails is not gonna have any impact, right, on the number cube. And the number cube is not gonna have any impact on the, the coin, right? They're, they're independent of each other. Right? So the way you get the probability of an event happening, so for example, the probability of getting a heads is one out of two. And then the probability of getting a coin that, that lands on a one is one out of six. And to get the probability of getting a heads and also landing on a one, you multiply these. So one times one gives you one, and two times six gives you 12. So there's a one in 12 probability that you'd flip a coin and land on heads, and then you'd roll a number cube and you get a, a one, all right? But the big thing to understand about this is that independent events are not affected by the previous event. So rolling the number cube is not impacted at all by the flipping of the coin. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problem on the next page. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's how you do with this independent probability question. So it says the game show contestant spins a spinner with, with the letters A through I on it. And then either an easy or hard question is picked up ran, randomly for her. What is the probability that the spinner will stop on the letter I and she has given it a hard question? All right, so really there's two different events happening, right? Event number one, right, is she's picking up, a, a she's spinning a spinner with the letters A through I on it, right? So A through I, that, that's nine letters of the alphabet. So there's nine possibilities for the first event. And then the second event is she's asked the question either easy or hard, right? So that's two possibilities for this one. And again, notice how the spinner and the, the difficulty of, of the question, they have nothing connected, right? They're, 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 not, they're, they're independent of each other. So the probability of getting the letter I, right? And then given a hard question, well, there's a one in nine chance of getting the letter I, and then there's a one in two chance, right, of getting the hard question. And the way you get the probability is you multiply. So one times one is one, and nine times two is 18. So there's a one in 18 chance that she will get spin the spinner and land on I, and then also get a hard question. All right, how'd you do?